All right, we're gonna help. We're gonna show you guys how to use uh, one of our other favorite tools called the ResiMax uh, Pain Tuner. We utilize this to stimulate, primarily stimulate the vagus nerve, which is um, that's the application. I'm gonna show you how we do that today. And uh, you know, when we stimulate the vagus nerve, that is something that can help with a wide variety of, of neurological conditions. Um, it helps bring balance to the autonomic nervous system, helps increase the parasympathetic system, brings us out of that fight and flight a little bit, which can really help us treat a whole host of, of conditions. So if we're gonna simulate the vagus nerve, the first thing we gotta know is how to turn it on. That's gonna be this bottom button here. Okay, and you see when you do that, it will start uh, with this little blue light here at the bottom. Now this is the lowest setting, so if we have someone who is really sensitive to sensory input, um, this is a good place to start. If we really want to challenge and stimulate uh, the autonomic nervous system to really try to create balance, this is the ideal frequency I like to use. This is the, the red setting. And to get there, all you did, you saw me do that, just push this middle button until it turns red. Okay? And so now I'm gonna show you um, where we do this. Now this will oscillate different frequencies. That's the, one of the ways it works. So it's going to you know, gradually progress and get more and more intense and then it'll come back down. So first one, first spot we're gonna do, first thing you wanna do is get back, lay back, get comfortable. ResiMax also has a great pillow that we'll utilize too. First spot, and if you come a little closer, you see where I am. Um, this is right on either side of the chest. Right here, and we're gonna come back. And a great thing to do while you're doing this is relax, focus on your breathing. So we'll often have patients take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale. And when you exhale, create a little humming. So this all helps activate the vagus nerve. And we're gonna do each spot for about 30 seconds to one minute. You may want to start off with 30 seconds to see how you feel and then increase that uh, progressively. So after we do the chest, we're then going to move to underneath the chin, which I will come closer for your show what that looks like. Okay, same thing, keep doing the breathing technique with the humming, and then we'll move from the chin to above the eyebrows. We'll close that up a little bit, come right here. And you'll notice if you've ever done any tapping techniques, these are very similar positions that we're gonna utilize. And then finally, we'll come up to the temples, top of the head. So this is activating the vagus nerve. This is also activating uh, cranial nerve five, trigeminal nerve, okay. And then what we're also gonna do um, on top of that is then we will go, you can put this, and this is where that ResiMax pillow comes in. We can come from the back here and do this on the neck. This can be really great for stiff necks as well. And again, lay back in that posture. Continue the breathing and humming through the entire time. Now there are other, other positions that we can do. Those are the main ones I use. Um, you know, one, and actually one I forgot that we typically use, we will use right in front of the ear. So I like to pop this off. We'll come right in front of the ear. You can do this on both sides. Very good for vagus stimulation. So you can uh, do both sides of the ears with that as well. There are other positions that you can actually go inside the mouth, on inside of the cheeks. Um, the feet are positions where we can do this. Um, there are a few others. Um, we'll put a link to the full um, ResiMax uh, video and uh, application manual that you can kind of look through. And, and it's always good to experiment with some of those positions to see which one has the most um, relaxing effect on the body.